A set of tools. If they belong to Wallace, why would he take them from his satchel here? That leads below ground, to who knows where. Let's keep our wits about us. Careful, Petra. Look at his eyes. There's something wrong with this one. down here. Strange and heady. I don't recognize it. It has a familiar sourness. I can't place it. Not the smell of death. It is almost pleasant. Must be Wallace's clothes. The trousers are wet. Probably pissed himself. Someone was wounded. A knife attack, I think. Wallace stayed here. Seems he made something to eat. Oh my god, Eivor! Eivor, come this way! What have you found? I saw it, Eivor. I saw him nearby. Wallace? The white elk. The white elk that brought me to Wallace years ago. Petra, where are you? Come! Petra! Hello! Mimia, guide me. Have I lost her too? Petra! Show yourself! It's getting dark! Ah, the elk. He will know where she has gone. I am... I'm sorry to trouble you, Lord. Eivor, nice to see you here. Are you the White Elk Petra told me about? <laughs> of course I am. Look at me. It may be you can help me. Petra has disappeared. I need to find her before the sun slips away. No, no. Petra hasn't disappeared. She's close, very close, and waiting for you. Follow me. You are the guardian of this place. You live a comforting life. Out here among the hills and dales of Mercia. Oh, I get on, you know. I eat, I sleep, I frolic. I want for nothing and enjoy every moment. It is a decent life. And what are you and Petra doing out here, lurking about in the woods? Hunting, maybe? In a way, yes. Uh, we are looking for her brother, Wallace. She's been waiting for him all day. Oh, my dear, yes. Where could Wallace be? Oh, where? Oh, where indeed? Ha! <laughs> Is Petra near? Uh, I fear we've lost her. She was here a moment ago. What? What is happening? I cannot stay. Not here, not now. Take your evil back to oh, Sutunga's yeah. Hall! Remember Thraki's double thrust? What have you done with Petra? Way. 
Don't fall for any traps. What have you done to Petra? Answer me! Evil! Stop! I'm here! I will make them talk, Petra. I must know the truth. I must know where you are. Evil, I am right here. There is no need to question this carrier any further. Uh, uh, yes. Sorry. Watch now for come! Encounter. I believe I know where we'll find Wallace. Up there! His trail leads this way. Petra, I, I met your old friend, the White Elk. But he vanished before my eyes, before I found you. You were visited. For a time, we talked until he vanished into the empty air. A shame, really. I enjoyed his presence. Ah, look there! This is strange, Seda, Petra. Where are you? Petra, how are you doing this? There's no trick to it. I think about it, and it works. Easy as walking. Try it. Again? Petra, how? How can I do that, Petra? Yes, just try it. Move, run in a straight line. No, 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 no! Too far! Too far! Amazing! You did it, just like your Soonan, and not a scratch on you. Now let's go. Wallace should be over there. Are you sure Wallace is here? I, I see no one. I believe so. We should ask the rabbits. They will know something. Of course. The rabbits. We've been here before. This is where the wolves attacked us. Right. Let us hope their spirits are not restless and that they do not wake to maul us. Oh no! The wolf spirits have wakened! Good day, Squirrel. I hope I'm not intruding, but have you seen my brother Wallace? Damn! <coughs> this one doesn't speak rabbit! Petra, hurry! I see him. I do. Come on, Eivor. Chase the elk! No, no, please don't disappear! No, no, please don't disappear! Not now! Ah, not until we have Wallace! with nothing to show for it. Uh, so, what are we looking at? Wallace? You stone-brained stoat! We've been looking for you! And here I am! 
Freshly rested and ready to work. You're days late. I was carrying quite a burden coming home. Slowed me down some, so I made a camp and picked some mushrooms for a nice soup. Turns out I picked some funny mushrooms. Sent me into a tizzy. Tore off my clothes, woke up naked and bruised in the woods. So I snuck home, naked as the day God made me, and grabbed some clothes. Now I'm off to get my tools. <laughs> Mushrooms. So the elk. Just another dream. Maybe so. But don't scoff at dreams. They are often worth more than our waking hours. I may still be bussing from these mushrooms, but this is nice. I had fun today. Maybe we could do it again, without the mushrooms. We could. But I will have to ask the rabbits for permission. I'm ready to give you the brunt of my wit. Good. And how much will you wager? Here. Thank you. Let us begin. I have sparred against champions and bested each one. Oh, to beat such a bracket will surely be fun. Ah, quick to bite back. Be careful, young Ulf. You're a misfit, a halfwit, a foolish old grouse. You're a weakling, a milksop, a catcher, a louse. Brilliant! I'm the greatest of flighters, a master of verse. Your pride is appalling, and your rhyming is worse. Got you there, young Irv. Ha! <laughs> I'm impressed. You are as sharp as that axe on your belt. As promised. I will have my winnings now. Take the gold. You've earned it. Was it moving faster than birds? Yes, yes, that's it. What are you doing here in the middle of nowhere? Ah, a visitor for Chad the Bewilderer, the most radiant and rakish riddler. Do you have the wits to best me? There is cake in it if you do. For cake? I will answer any mind tease you have for me. My head is forged with the hammer, hurt with sharp tools, smoothed by files. I take in my mouth what is set before me. Iron is forged with tools, and a keyhole could be the mouth of a door. A lock and key? Wonderful! Your wit sparkles, but still, another one. I saw a strange thing, wonderful of shape, singing in a tavern. Its beak underneath stood upon splayed legs that cannot walk. Something that sings. A musical instrument. The bladder that winds and wheezes through pipes. Backpipes. Very good! A tricky one that few but the sharpest needles can sew. Now, the final test. With my roof of tears, I am driven far and wide on my avenging path. When I shake the forest, I rumble the fruit from the trees.
Rain covers the earth like a roof. And the rumble of thunder and lightning can shake acorns from a branch. A storm. You are brighter than the sky, Lantern. Your wit outshone my words. And such a feat deserves three cakes. But unfortunately, I do not have any. So the cake was a lie? Do not pout. Have a reward much more worthy of your talents. Goodbye, Chad. Your riddles were a fun diversion. Stay a while. Read some more of my scribblings. I do not get many visitors. Your presence sparked my mind. A rare thing out here.